Hello again, it's Mark here from Gumtree Games. I'm um, going to do an unboxing today, and it is a Ninja Legend of the Scorpion Clan. Um, a hidden movement um, deception based game, so it's, it's pretty good. Um, this review copy is by is um, was sent by AEG Games, so that's very nice of them. So obviously we'll um, do the unboxing, I will have a read of the rules, give you the game overview like we usually do, break it down so you know how to play it, and we'll, um, we'll have a good look at it. So, let's open the box and see what's inside. So, as per usual, I've not opened it, don't know what's inside. I've been dying to, because it looks awesome. I like ninjas as well, which is always good. But it's a ninja focus game. Brilliant, okay, so. Let's check the box. Mm, ninja new game smell. It's there. Right, so let's have a look and see what we've got. This is the good bit. So, the book, the rule book floating on top. I've had a bit of a look online at the rules. It's pretty simple, really. Playtime is about 45 minutes, um, which is good. Sometimes you just want to have a quick game because you don't have hours to spend on it. So, they've got and It's based on the um, Legend of the Five Rings. So the artwork's brilliant, and the, 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 the setting, you know, it's a known good setting. Brilliant. So, that's that. What have we got here? Cards. There we go. Mission objective. So, um, one side plays... Um, a ninja or a traitor, which is trying to infiltrate a, a fortress, and the other side plays the guard, so he's trying to protect whatever is within the fortress. So these are all objectives that you'd want to carry out. So poison the well, steel war plans, all very cool things. So those are the objectives that you might want to carry out. The board, now. Darn you, you cellophane. Get in my light area. The board. So the board's going to be a big fortress which we have to infiltrate, no doubt. Oh, look at that. Brilliant. So, um, again, I've not read the rules fully yet. We're going to do that in the game overview in the next video. But you can sort of see the plan. So this is an overview of the fortress. Um, there's various barrack um, spots where the guards might be situated um, and you can see the patrol path, these little footsteps that are going round okay? so again it'll all be about timing and sneaking and injuring there and carrying out the objective and sneaking back out, it's going to be brilliant I'll put the board there ok, super, so what else is in the box? we have, oh, my favourite thing Player screens. <laughs> Get up to all sorts of nasty things behind the, behind the player screen. So, four of those. And again, it's all about hidden movement and stealth and deception. So these are pretty pretty essential, really. There we go. I think there's just... There's no... There's nothing on the inside, though. You know, usually you get some reference in there, but not none of these. But never mind. Still very good. So, four of those. Four players. Now, the pads. Um, I'm, I'm anal when it comes to stuff like this. I don't like writing on things. Even if you're supposed to write on something in the game, I just don't want to do it. So, we'll probably scan these and print them out. Right. You know, you know, uh, it's um, it's a lot better because you don't want to... There's only so many of them, isn't there? So, that'll be done. We'll scan them and we'll print them out. But again, essential to the game because this is where you, track, you, you write down your your hidden movement, what you're doing and where you're going. Um, figures. So, these are the... I'll stick them out on the board there if you want Cool. So, we've got... And that's got to be the ninja. Black guy. Surely. So, ninja. Um, again, not too sure on the rules just yet. I think that's the traitor guard because if you play a four-player game, 
there's not two ninjas, there's just one ninja, and the other guy is the is a traitor to the guards. And um, then we've got lots for the guard, which is here. I like that. The base is slot together, that's quite cool. So you can rank them up. So um, these make up the guards, I believe. Quite a lot of guards. Again, when we do the game overview, we'll go into detail just how it works. These are brilliant. Drunken guards. Look at that. That's how I want to live my life. Drinking sake. Dressed as a ninja. Or a samurai warrior. There we go. So that's them. And lanterns. Don't know what they do as yet, but we'll, we'll find out for the game overview. So they're the miniatures. And then we've got cards. So... See if we can fire these open. Okay, so these guys specialise in doing cards, being legends of the five rings. We've done the War of Honor um, overview, so you you know you know what else they, they do, what they specialise in. So these cards are let's just put them on the table here. These uh, basically you pick um, which cards you'd like to use before the game. So you pick your strategy and you can pick the cards out um, and pre-plan. In the rule book it gives you a few cards which you could use um, just recommended cards to make the first game easier and then after that you can flip through and pick your strategy but there you go. And again we'll go through it with a game overview when we do that video. So there we go and then the insert which is good I know it's not a big thing but Everything sits in the right place, it doesn't float about, so that's quite good. So that's the unboxing. Um, so I'll read the rules, um, we'll set it all out and we'll, we'll do a game. And that will be the next video. So um, until then, you can check out the website, www.grimtreegames.com. We've got Facebook, we've got Twitter on there, you can get involved and take a look. Take a look at our other videos on our YouTube channel, we've done quite a lot of unboxings now, so there might be something there that you like the look of. Um, so until next time, see you later. Bye-bye.